Hi guys, Julie here. Welcome back for another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the stars and stripes cocoon cardigan. It's very easy to make. You can make this for any size. For this cardigan, you are going to need acrylic category 3 yarn, a 7 and a 6 millimeter hook. This is the yarn that I'll be using. You are going to need 400 grams of color A and 300 grams of color B. Okay, so we are going to make first one big rectangle. You can use the same measurements uh, for extra small up to large. Okay, the rectangle is 72 centimeters high and 96 centimeter wide. Okay, so I'm going to make a small sample with you just to uh, show you how the star stitch, star stitch goes and how to crochet this cardigan. So you are going to make a chain with your 7 millimeter crochet hook. This pattern is a multiple of 2 plus 4 and it goes over 2 rows. So go ahead and chain 84. So I am a size medium, uh, but you can use um, these measurements also for a small or for a large size. So chain 44, make first a slip knot and then chain um, 84 with your 7 millimeter crochet hook. So I'm only going to chain 20. So once you have 84 chains, you are going to switch your hook. So we are not going to need our 7 millimeter crochet hook anymore. And take your 6 millimeter hook. And now go back in the second chain from the hook, make wrap loop like so. In the next, so we are going to do this five times. So one, two, three, four, and five. You have now six loops on your hook. Go ahead yarn over and close all of your six loops like so and chain one so this is your first star stitch now again we are going to go in five stitches so we are going to pull up a loop five times and this one here is going to be the one that you are going to make right now so right here up a loop and then in this under this loop here the reach right here two in the stitch itself right here three and now in the next two chains four and five and again you have six loops on your hook yeah, over and pull through all of your six loops and then chain one and again right here one in the reach two in the stitch itself three in the next two chains four and five slip six loops on your hook yarn over and pull through chain one Again, in this gap right here, one in the reach, two in the same chain itself, three 
in the next two chains for five yarn over and pull through okay so this is how you are going to work till the end of the chain okay so once you're at the end of the chain you are going to turn your work lock this loop, loop a little bit higher and without chaining and nothing you are going to yarn over and in the same stitch we are going to make two half double crochets so one yarn over and two okay so this is your second row that you need to repeat now go to the next stitch in this gap here okay, we are going to work in all these gaps yarn over and make two half double crochets just like so in all these gaps we are going to work two half double crochets the next gap this is how you are going to work to the end of the row now this is my last gap right here and now in the last stitch we are going to um, make one single crochet and also we are going to change color so take your color B and make a slip knot so you have this right here now in your last stitch you are going to prepare for a single crochet so in the stitch and pull through and now you are going to close your single crochet with your color B like so okay now you are going to work with your color B the same as you've made here so first the stitch the star stitch and then the half double crochet so i'm going to work this with you to start off you are going to chain three one two and three then turn your work and now we are going to work in these two chains here first so prepare for a single crochet and in the next chain prepare for a single crochet and then right here at the bottom in the same stitch single crochet prepare then in the next two stitches you are also going to pull up a loop pull through like so now you have your six loops on your hook you are going to yarn over pull through and chain one and now repeat in the gap pull through in the ridge pull through in the same stitch pull through in the next two stitches pull through six loops on your hook yarn over pull through chain one in the gap under the ridge in the stitch in the next two stitches yarn over and pull through and this is how you are going to work till the end of the row so again i am working only a very small sample with you so for my cardigan i've chained again a total of 84 and then you are going to have 40 of these little stars here so one two three
Yeah. Like so, okay. Okay, this is going to be my last star stitch. So you have this stitch here, and your last stitch is going to be this one here. If you want, you can use a stitch marker to mark your first and your last stitch if you find this easier. Now without chaining you are going to turn your work, yarn over and in the same stitch make your first two half uh, double crochet and in the next gap two half double crochets next gap and in the next okay so work like this and I'll meet you back here okay and then prepare for a single crochet in your last stitch and now we are going to um, take our color A and then close your last stitch in with your color A like so and then start again your pattern with chain 3 turn your work and start making your star stitch 1, 2, 3 4 and 5 like so okay so this is really a beautiful and easy stitch once you get the hang of it so you are going to work like this for a total of 66 rows so you have each color you have two rows okay so you have the star stitch and the uh, half double crochet uh, rows okay so you have each color two rows you're going to work for a total of 66 rows I'm going to work off camera a few more rows just to show you how to fold and then how to work um, the wrist and also around your opening okay now once you have all of your 66 rows done you are going to single crochet in your very last stitch like so chain one and cut your yarn And pull through and then you are going also to cut your color B and weave in this loose end and then you are going to fold your piece as I'm now showing you in the picture so like so the right side of the work is facing you so you are going to uh, fold and then take your needle and we are going to sew on this side here as I'm showing you right now So you are going to leave for your um, for the wrist you are going to leave a 10 centimeter um, opening on both both sides 
and now you are going to sew this one right here and this one right here okay and now once you have sewn your sides you are going to turn your cardigan the right side out so the right side is facing you <coughs> and this is how it's going to look like now we are going to work right here for the wrist and for this I've worked double crochets in the back loop only so this is the wrist I've worked a total of 10 rows of double crochets in the back loop only and then I'm also going to show you how to finish and then also all around the opening I've worked um, 10 rows of double crochets in the back loop only now let me show you how to <coughs> make your wrist okay, so I've worked the wrist and also the cardigan opening with my color A but you can do this with your color B if you prefer so you are going to work with your 6 millimeter hook make a slip knot and attach your yarn right here at the bottom so where your seam is so you are going to have so these are my 10 centimeters so on the both side I have 20 centimeters in total and for the um, wrist opening I have a total of 26 stitches so you are going to have 26 stitches and we are going to work in the round make first a single crochet and then chain two this is going to be your first double crochet and you already have your um, stitches so you are going to make one double crochet in each double crochet in each stitch so on this side are going to be the chains till you have your 26 stitches And then once you have this done you are going to slip stitch in your third chain like so chain three to step up and this is going to be your first double crochet now we are going to work in the back loop only but to have these nice double crochets they are really on top of each other you are going to go so this is the back loop and you are also going to go in this loop right here so in the stitch itself in the double crochet from the previous row and your double crochets are going uh, right on top of each other so we are over In the back loop and also in the double crochet from the previous row in this loop right here and make your double crochet yarn over and again in the back loop and also in the stitch 
and double crochet so work like this for a total of 10 rows and then I'll meet you back to show you how to make this uh, edging right here okay now once you have your 10 rows done you are going to <coughs> chain one and prepare for a single crochet in the same stitch you really need to keep a loose tension and now you are going to turn your hook like so and then finish your single crochet and again in the next stitch prepare for a single crochet like so keep a loose tension and twist your hook like so and finish your single crochet again in the next stitch prepare for a single crochet twist and finish in the next stitch pull through twist yarn over and pull through to finish your single crochet twist yarn over and pull through twist and pull through so this is how you are going to work all around your twist opening and twist once you have this done you are going to slip stitch to your first stitch chain one cut your yarn and on the other side you are also going to do the same so your double crochets in the back loop only and also in the stitch to keep your double crochets right on top of each other and then make this twisted single crochet row and once you have this done you are going to work around your uh, cardigan opening so i've also worked a total of 10 double crochet rows in the back loop only and also in the uh, stitch itself and i didn't made the twisted single crochet so if you want to do this um yeah you can make um also one round of um twisted single crochet now let me show you how to start so i've started in the uh, middle so you have these um, star stitch rows, these two rows here on each color. So on each color you are going to pick up uh, three double crochets. So first join with a single crochet and then chain two. This is going to be your first double crochet. And then I'm working in these gaps right here. So each color you are going to have three double crochets. Now the next color one, two, and three. I'm going to go to my next color, so this one here, 
and pick my three double crochets so you are going to work all around your cardigan one two and three now here is your um, side seam so you are going to go over to the next color one now you are going to work in these gaps here two and three okay work like this all around your cardigan once you have this done you are going to slip stitch to your third chain chain three to step up and then work in the back loop and also in the stitch your next round okay so work like this for a total of 10 rows slip stitch then to your first stitch chain one and cut your yarn then go ahead and weave in all of your loose ends so guys um i am at the end of my tutorial thank you all for watching and for joining me today i hope this was helpful and you've learned something new and in the meanwhile i wish you all good luck have fun happy crocheting and till next time bye bye